Hi, my name is Doug Holtam. I'm the Executive Director of the First Hill Improvement Association, and welcome to 2022 and episode number 10. The special thanks goes out to the Office of Economic Development for making these videos possible. And since it is the new year, that means membership renewals are going out to become members of the First Hill Improvement Association. If you are were a member in 2021, please look for an invoice in your mailbox. And if you would like to become a member, you can do so on our website, which we will link below. Membership is the lifeblood of our organization and we can't do it without the generous donations of our neighbors. And now your five minutes with Fia. Something to look forward to in 2022 is our Neighborhood Economic Recovery Fund grant, which we received for 2022. As part of that grant, we will be installing more flexible pavement. We'll be touching up the interstate columns underneath I-5 between James and Cherry Street, and we'll be adding more signal box artwork throughout the neighborhood. As you can see here, there's some flexible pavement that we installed in previous years. As part of our Neighborhood Economic Recovery Fund grant, we will be installing more flexible pavement in the neighborhood. Flexible pavement is great because it allows for rainwater to filter to the tree roots without pedestrians compacting the soil and impacting the tree's health. So if you know of where a flexible pavement could be installed, please email me at Doug at firsthill.org. So another thing to look forward to in 2022 is more signal box artwork in the neighborhood. As part of our Neighborhood Economic Recovery Fund grant, we'll be installing signal box artwork on two signal boxes at 9th and Madison and Bourne and Jefferson. The artist for these, the signal box artwork is Seattle University graduate Nathan Watkins. If you already knew, we have over 30 signal boxes already covered with artwork. So that's another thing to look forward to in the upcoming year. So we are at Sunrise Over First Hill underneath Interstate 5 between James and Cherry Streets. As part of our Neighborhood Economic Recovery Fund grant, we will be touching up these columns in partnership with Urban Artworks. Urban Artworks will be touching up the graffiti in two phases. They've already completed one phase, and they'll be working on the second phase when the weather gets a little warmer and drier. Thanks for watching, and if you need to get in touch with me about anything First Hill related, please do so by emailing me at doug at firsthill.org.